Hi! Welcome to Artistry Collaborative. My name is Joanne and I am so glad you've joined me today. Today we are going to take the Dollar Tree Triangles and turn it into a beautiful piece of winter wonderland. So, so easy. I'm so glad you joined me. Here at Artistry Collaborative, we want to inspire creativity and we want to help you every step of the way. All we ask you to do is just try. So, thank you for joining me. If you really like this channel, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and share it with your friends. I am so grateful that you're here. And I have a contest going on right now. If you can get three of your friends to subscribe to my channel and then send me their names in the comments below, I'll put you in a special drawing and there'll be one winner who will receive any one of my projects. Uh, if I don't have it anymore, I will make one just like it. Or um, if I can't reduplicate it because I can't get the certain items, then I will let you choose um, something else equal. So thank you and let's go and try this together. So um, originally I was going to make my own background, but since I have this starry night sky, I'm going to use that. So the first thing I need to do is I want to make some holes in the back for my lights. So, that's simple. Now, um, I get mine from Amazon, but I have purchased these through Tim Holtz. He does sell a two-pack of these lights, because I love them because they have this, this is so much littler than, and look how bright they are. Um, than those big battery packs that you get from the Dollar Tree. But you certainly can use the Dollar Tree ones. You would just probably have to make a bigger hole because those lights are bigger. But it's all the same um, process. So I'll go like so. And bring all the lights in. The more lights, the better. If take them apart slowly. So. Yeah, I've been going to so many Dollar Trees and my daughter found these peanut butter wafer bites and they are so delicious. I love them so much more than pretzel peanut butter filled pretzels because they're, they're much lighter. So. I went to two Dollar Trees today, and neither one had one, so, so much for that. But, I guess I should, if this goes through, I should bring it through. Could make it a little bit open, but, all right. And then we're going to attach this to the back with, um, Velcro so that you can pull it off if you have to change the battery out. So let me get the Velcro. Now, this is actually iron-on Velcro, but I got it clearanced uh, at Joann's, and so it works just as well. Just make sure you put it on the side opposite the screws so that when you have to change the battery out, you can get to it. Um, this is how I do it. I just put some glue. And I like this to be hanging out to the side so they can just switch it on on, on and off. Yeah. All right. Then I take all my lights and I get my dollar squares. These are from the Dollar Tree. They're just little squares, foam squares, and I put them down randomly, and I attach, now you could hot glue, most definitely, uh, these little, you, you could hot glue the wires 
But if I don't have to, I prefer not to. So I'm going to use these. And then when I put the piece of paper over it, it'll doubly secure them in place. And right now I'm just going up and down the sides, but then I will, I will um, swirl them in the, in the uh, metal so that there's even more. As you can see, I have them all evenly dispersed, but I am going to go in and put a couple of dabs of glue where there is a lot of wire just so that they stay down. I mean they're going to stay down but a little dab will do ya. So I'll put some in here and yeah. I want to create the background. So I'm going to shut this off because I don't want to waste it. And I'm going to, now this is from uh, Hobby Lobby. It's called Cosmic Sky. I'm not sure if they still have it, but um, they probably, if they don't have that specific one, they probably have something very, very similar. Um, of course, this is going to be bigger than I need, but we can always trim it. So we take that, and we take we need a good pair of scissors. That is helpful. need to trim it just a little bit. So I'm going to go in and cut. What I want to do is put some foam all along here so that this is raised up behind the lights. So I'm going to take more of these squares and I'm going to run them along the sides. So you could take bigger squares, you could you could use tape and roll, unroll a whole, you know, thing of it, and um, it's to just raise up that paper so that it's not completely on the lights, it's a little bit from the back. So as you can see, I probably put in a lot more than I needed to, but I just wanted to make sure. And I did keep trimming until it fit really nice. But be careful, don't press down too hard because it will get stuck on the squares. And I'm going to just put a few dots of hot glue on here. You know what, maybe I'll use, instead of hot glue, I will use tacky glue. I think that might be better because I'm not going to be able to put enough hot glue down before the hot glue hardens. So I'm just touching a lot of the squares and just putting little dabs of glue just to secure the paper on it a little bit more. Again, it's probably not going anywhere, but couldn't hurt. Couldn't hurt. Especially around the sides. Alright, 
So then I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this down. And get it. It's not going to be flat, obviously, because we have all those bumps and lumps behind it. And that's fine. That's fine. on and where you see the lights now you could keep it like that but I like to go in with my Dollar Tree pick and just go right over the where the light is and then just put holes now you could do it larger if you want with that but I just love the subtleness of it and I hope you can see that And I'm just going to go and everywhere there's a light, I'm going to just punch a bunch of holes so it looks like there's stars in the sky. Okay, so that's what it looks like finished. Um, you could paint this white, I kind of like the natural wood, so I'm leaving it as it is, but of course if you were going to do that, you'd paint that before you even put the lights in. Now I'm going to add a little foam down here because I'm going to make this uh, a grassy knoll. So um, I'm going to get some green foam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this. I refuse to measure. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so this is one and a quarter. I don't want one and a quarter. I want a little bit less than that. So let's do one. Right? So let's mark one. 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 And then I will just get my handy dandy. Single-edged razor and just slice it all so gently. All right. Well, didn't come out even, but that's okay. All right, and then we'll do it again. Let me use my big razor and see. it's you know on an angle so just follow the angle and it'll go in such like that and then same thing with this there okay this looks a little high so I'm going to trim some of that be careful of trimming because you may end up trimming and trimming and trimming and it just goes haywire. All right, then I'm going to cover it with my mossy sheet. Um, like I said, I used to get this at AC Moore. I miss that store so much. Um, so what I'm going to do is put a toothpick in between the two and that will hold it together. like so. You'll see one is much higher than the other, so let's even those out. And then I'm going to take this and I am going to cover it. So I only need to cover 
one side because the other side will be on the back. So I'm leaving a little bit here to cover the front, but then wherever this falls on the back, So yeah, I was looking up on Amazon to see if I could find these. They're extremely expensive. So the best thing I saw was like a table runner. It doesn't have a sticky back, but you know, you could always put tacky glue, so it's okay, but I do miss that store. All right, so I want to cover the front. It's going to go right in there like that. We're going to cover it with snow. Okay, so let's glue this in. And don't do that. stash. I know you must think, where, where, where is your stash and how do you manage to have all this stuff in it? But <laughs> trust me, I do. Um, this has been sitting in my stash for quite a while. And I just love it. Um, I love the naturalness of it. So, but I don't want just a sole um, tree. So I'm going to take some wooden dowels that I got at the Dollar Tree. going to make some more birch. So these are going to go in the back. I'm going to cut them at different sizes. We're going to paint them white and then we're going to make them, um, we're going to make them birch trees. So let me cut a few and then I will be back. Well it's the next day and um, I just came back from work and after work I went to Hobby Lobby um, to look for reindeer and I did find these in like the miniature where they have all the miniature trees um, which would definitely work but then I went to the ornaments and oh dear lord look at this cutie so she's just perfect so I was going to have several deer um, Tim Holtz actually has reindeer. They're all white. You could paint them or not paint them. Um, and those would look really pretty in here too. Um, but uh, I just fell in love with her. She's just adorable. So what I want to do is um, show you how to turn these, get them up really close, um, into birch trees. Now it's funny, at Hobby Lobby they have all kinds of birch sticks. And they're not trees at all, but they're like, some of them were styrofoam and they were wrapped in the white um, florist tape and then put all glitter on them and stuff. So there's so many ways that you can make birch tree uh, stems, but this is a, a, a very easy way. So let me get my, this is a Faber-Castell Pitt Artist Pen. It's called small it came from a set and you just make some lines you know gather a few lines together and then one here one there and just like a birch tree and I just went all the way around sure you can see this
and there's no rhyme or reason just put them every which way and there you have birch trees okay and so I don't know if I'm going to use all of these but this one is definitely going in and she's going to be like peeking from behind it so she's going to go in there and then we're going to put this in like this so like she's in between the trees this is going to go in the back more yeah all right now another thing i'm going to do before i put the trees in is i thought i would add a little more bling to the back so i'm going to take some of my liquid pearls you could use puppy paint in silver uh, and do this too but I'm just going to add a few more dots of stars and I'm going to throw a little glitter oh, that's not going to let's see if I can let's see <laughs> I always meant to tell you if you hear chickens um, the next door the up Stia's neighbor actually has chickens and they love to roost um, outside my window. So if you do hear chickens, you're not imagining it. I do have chickens in, in my yard. I love chickens, but these chickens are a little unruly and I wish he would control them. He, they ruined my flowers. Um, luckily it was late in the season, so I didn't care too much, but I wasn't too happy with the damage that they did and they tend to want to roost on my walkway and crap all over the walkway and I'm not really happy about that and he's not very respectful of my space so there you go all right so I'm going to take a little glitter a little fine glitter and sprinkle that on let me get some okay so this is just a little tube of iridescent glitter can't exactly say where I got it from but I'm just going to sprinkle that in there. And then I can't, <laughs> I'm continually organizing. My sister said my, my craft space is very messy. Well, you know, I'm, I never said I was a neat freak, <laughs> but I'm constantly organizing and I organized so well, I don't know what I did with my little trays that you catch your glitter. So this is the next best thing. Um, and the, it actually ends up working better because it doesn't stick like in the trays, the glitter sticks and it's hard to get it all off. And sometimes you have black and then you have white and then you have black specks in your white and that's not cool. But anyway, so if you don't have a tray, coffee filters work all right so that's that in the back now I did start to put some fiber fill in the background and you just pull a little bit put a little glue lay it down great so I'm going to glue this in like so I cut these at an angle uh, you could probably do it with a um, a really good knife or a really good scissor or maybe even a cutting thing and then sand it down if it's rough but we're gonna put this in like so so, I don't like, this doesn't have enough for me on the, uh, the blackness. And I kind of like it if it doesn't um, all stand straight because trees don't. This is the one I just demoed, but it didn't have enough black for me. So and add a few more black lines. 
And today I just got this great idea for another tutorial. I'm so excited about it. So that's going to be coming up very soon. I just have to find a few things that I don't have in my stash. But you are going to love it. Love it, love it, love it. I hope you do. I think you will. It's, it will make a fabulous gift for someone on your list. All right, so we've got that. Let's put her in because I don't want to. Oh, we were going to put one in the back, weren't we? Like so. So let's do that. in like so. Oh yeah. Like that baby. Beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Good. I'm gonna have to cut that. This one's gonna go here. All right, then we're going to take some Dollar Tree pick, and we'll add some of this in there. So let's see what we can do here. Ugh. Now I don't want them all the same size. I'm going to cut them down, and look, we'll put some of this in there. Cuteness! I have to say, cuteness! This stuff makes me so excited. I'm like a little kid. I can't help it. I hope it's contagious. Don't you want to be a little kid again? My son would always say, Mom, I'm not really liking this, this grown-up thing. <laughs> and I used to say, oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. I only thought about having babies. I really didn't think about having adults. <laughs> yeah, I don't like this grown-up thing. Oh, yeah. One little piece, one little more piece. Where do you think? Let's see. Here, back there. I think it should be back there, but let me cut some of this. My daughter was making fun of me today because two days now I come home and Every time I come home, she goes, is that the standard? You're going to go to work and then you're going to go to the Dollar Tree. <laughs> but I'm making things and all of a sudden I go, oh, I need that. You know, I think I have everything and I don't. So, look at that. I am so, so thrilled. Okay, so now I have a piece of plastic that I cut from a container. Now, this is definitely, you do not have to do this. Um, but I'm going to put that on there. Oh, or maybe I'm not because she's not going to fit. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess I'm not. But I was going to put that on there so that the snow could shake around. But, all right. It's telling me it's not going to happen. So we'll save that for another project. She needs to get down there. Um, so the next thing I want to do is add icicles along the way. Okay, so how's this for a pine cone? <laughs> I bought a set of three of these 
several years ago and I haven't used them yet but I'm going to take them apart and they're going to be the shingles on the side of that triangle now what I want to do is put a little bit of this is the snow from the Dollar Tree so to just put some snow all along so then just take some of this And a lot of it's going to fall out, but that's fine. Once it's dry, I will uh, turn it out. Okay, so that is that. But you can. I have all kinds of stuff: diamond dust, glitter. It, it, it's a glitter world. Okay, so the pine cone. What we got to do? We're hoping this is easier than I. Yeah, it comes right out. All right, so you pull it apart. I have pine cones in every single size imaginable. Matter of fact, I went to my girlfriend's cabin in Maine, and I was picking little, the little tiny, tiny, tiny ones um, off the ground. So I just want to show you that what we're going to do is we're going to make shingles. So these are going to go like so all the way up like that so let me pull all of these apart and then I will show you what I'm doing okay so that's what one side looks like and I started the other side so as you know um, pine cones they'll start small and get big and then they'll get small again so you have different sizes that you can pull from here so as you can see on here you know there's some smaller ones and then larger ones and so I'm starting off with the bigger ones, but I'm going to need some of these smaller ones soon. So, and sometimes I just, like I flatten it a little bit more, and I put in the glue. And you want it to overlap so it looks like uh, shingles. And nothing says that you can't take one of these and split it in half. So that you can put half on this side and half on the other. And then you just keep going. all the way up and I just press it down as flat as I can I'm not so concerned about the back as I am the front because we are going to make icicles to go along the edge so I don't want this to overlap on the edge so we'll just go a few more and then I will finish up and um, come back but I just want you to see how I match them up And since I have your attention, I just want to bring it to your attention that um, I do have a contest going on right now. And um, if you can get three people to subscribe to my channel and you send me their names, um, I will put you in a special contest drawing. And 
uh, someone will get any one of my uh, projects. If I've sold it already, because I do do craft shows, um, I will make another one. If I can't get the product anymore, like let's say you wanted the Halloween pumpkin, well those are long gone, um, I can give you something else so you could pick something else. So I would really like to, I mean I'm very happy the subscribers, I, I'm, I'm getting so many subscribers and it's wonderful. But, you know, I really, the more subscribers, the more YouTube will notice me. And, uh, and I like to be noticed. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, I would really appreciate your support in that. And, uh, and I want to make it fun. And, you know, hopefully for the holidays we'll have little giveaways, different contests. And, you know, if you make something from one of my tutorials, I would love to see it and share it on the page, um, you know, nothing, I love watching other people's process, um, how it comes out and what they do differently, and, you know, not everybody has access to the same material, so you use what you have, and that's, that's the greatest thing, so, yeah, you know, let me see what you're doing, I'm thrilled that you are, you know, getting creative and having fun, that's just, that's the whole point. That is the whole point. All right, so I'm going to just finish and I'll be back. Okay, so that is finished. So now I want to add some snow. And this will help fill in any gaps that you have with the um, pine cone pieces. And then just take the snow from the Dollar Tree and sprinkle that baby on. going to do this side. And again, generous. The glue will dry clear so you don't have to worry about it. Alrighty. And then I did notice, again, very messy with this, that I wanted snow down here. So let's put a bead of snow along here. It's looking like a lot like Christmas. Okay, so I'm going to clean this up. Okay, I was wrong. Wax paper is not good for this. You need a silicone mat. I don't know if parchment paper will work, but just take it and drag it. Take it, drop and drag it. Squeeze and drag. Squeeze and drag. Squeeze and drag. Squeeze and drag all the way down. Now I think once this is dry I'm gonna go back and drag more in between like smaller ones. Yeah so I'm gonna let this dry. Okay so now I'm just gonna go back and put in more in between. 
so that they don't all smush together. take that apart enough. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, I brought the camera in really close because I'm not sure if you can see this, but I wasn't sure if I showed you that you just take some gesso or white acrylic paint, or you could use just glue too, Mod Podge. Cover it up. And then take your glitter and sprinkle it on. And then you're going to let it dry. So I'm going to take my hot glue, going to put that along the edge. Take my piece and just squeeze that on like so. I don't think I went far enough down. So I'm going to do that. Okay. As you can see, I put some already on that side. And I'm going to add another little piece there. And remember when you do do the glue that you have to go in the opposite directions so that you get both sides of the uh, triangle. I'm going to trim that because I don't want it in her face. Cutie pie. Look at that. All right, and I'm just going to finish up. And there you go your own little piece of a winter wonderland.